So before I jump into this talk today, I just want to take a quick poll around the room. How many people in here have ever had to retake a class? Anybody? Okay. All right, so I see some hands. Okay. Now what about two times over? Has anybody ever had to take that class twice? <laughs> All right, a lot less hands. Wow, okay. What about three times? Anyone? <laughs> I, I totally understand how you feel. Uh, so it's actually kind of funny. Uh, before I transferred here uh, to Manhattan College, I was a physics major. And as a physics major, I had to take a bunch of super hard classes. And you know, we're kind of assumed to be these super smart people. But I had to retake Calc 3 three times. I had to take Calc 1 twice. I had to take Physics 1 twice. And in the midst of all that, I had to drop two physics classes. Yeah, it was pretty tough. I actually had a professor look me in the eyes and tell me, You've been, you know, you're a great kid. You're really nice. You're hilarious. Unfortunately, there's no hope for you in this field. <laughs> Yeah, that was, that was pretty rough to hear. And it actually put me in a pretty bad state. I was, I was really upset, and I was going through this little metamorphosis. And as I was going through this metamorphosis, I thought back to the times when I used to speak with my grandfather. Now, my grandfather, he was a uh, US Airman in the Air Force, 25 years. And he got to experience a lot of really difficult hardships. I remember he would sit down and describe to me how he would walk through desolate war zones, seeing limbs, arms, legs of his fallen comrades and the enemy. And this took a toll on my grandfather. But I can say, after knowing my grandfather for all these years, he is the most kind-hearted, and one of the nicest human beings I've ever had the pleasure of meeting and knowing. So thinking about that and going through my own metamorphosis, I kept thinking to myself that maybe, just maybe, I could make a similar change. And so when I came to Manhattan and I started getting into engineering, I got exposed to some really cool technology, 3D printing and 3D scanning. Now with this, I thought to myself, hmm, we can do some really interesting and cool things here. And one of the things was uh, looking at the medical industry, taking that and applying that to prosthetics. So naturally, like a crazy engineer, I called up my good friend, Brian Sopak, and I called up my cousin, Ron, uh, Ron Mog, and together we were able to form Haven Labs. Now Haven Labs is a nonprofit organization that puts a focus on developing 3D pro uh, printed prosthetic limbs for American veterans. Most recently, one of the projects that we've just worked on is our utility gauntlet. Now, this is an open sourced 3D printed prosthetic. And what that means basically is that anyone in the world can download this, uh, the file, print it out, and give it to an amputee. In the same regard, an engineer or a designer can download it completely redesign it or re-engineer it and put it back online. And this really helps to innovate our, our product. And some of the future research that we're looking at right now is actually taking 3D printers that can print materials such as carbon fiber, fiberglass, and Kevlar, and using that to actually develop open sourced 3D printed legs and low, uh, lower limb prosthetics for amputees, not just here in the US, but all over the world. So keeping this in mind, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty interesting. My, you know, my grandfather, he really had an impact on me. And I kept this with me um, the other day. I had it uh, you know, in my mind. And I actually spoke to my aunt. I spoke to my Aunt Kiri. And you know, we got to talking. And uh, you know, she has this, uh, her little son, Alex. And uh, you know, he, he kind of looks up to me. He's you know, 10 years old, really, really great kid. And he comes home from school. And he has this, this test. And uh, you know, he got a check plus on it. He was so happy. And he comes home and he goes, mommy, mommy, mommy. And she was like, what, Alex? And he was like, oh, I got a check plus. And you know, naturally, she was like, oh, you know, I'm so proud of you. He goes, am I smart, mommy? And my aunt looks at him and goes, of course you're smart. And then Alex looks back at 
my aunt and goes, am I smart like River? <laughs> so yeah, you know, I had to retake a bunch of classes. Yeah, I had to retake Calc 3. Whatever. <laughs> Who cares? And having to hear there's no hope and all these other things, it was super difficult. But ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something. Having my little cousin say that, that is not failure. That is success. Having influenced my younger cousin the way that my grandfather influenced me, that, that's all I could ever ask for. And before I leave you all today, there's a question that I would like to pose to you all. The next time that you fail, will you let that make you a failure? Thank you. <laughs>